To install Flutter, we're first going to install Android Studio. So let's open the web browser and let's head over to developer.android.com. And here, let's choose Download Android Studio. And once again, Download Android Studio. And we need to accept the terms and conditions, so let's scroll down and let's click on I have read and agree. And let's download Android Studio. And it's been downloaded. I will stop this download because I already downloaded Android Studio. And let's open the downloads folder where the file was downloaded to. And here it is, the Android Studio installer. Let's go ahead and install it. And we want both Android Studio and the Android Virtual Device. So let's just click on Next. And I'll go with the default installation folder. And let's go ahead and install. Okay, the installation is complete. Let's click on Next again. And let's start Android Studio. I do not want to import any settings, so let's click on OK. And you can choose if we want to send usage statistics to Google or if we don't want to. I'll send mine. And let's click on Next. I'll go with a standard setup. It includes exactly what we need. Here we can choose the color theme. But since we're not going to use Android Studio directly, but only as a prerequisite for Flutter, it doesn't really matter what you choose, so we'll just choose one of them and click on Next. And here is a list of stuff that's going to be installed. Let's click on Next again. And we need to agree to the license agreements. So this is the first license agreement. Let's click on Accept. And then we need to click here to accept the second license agreement. So once again, let's click on Accept. And Finish. And everything is being downloaded and installed, including the Android SDK. This step is a long one, so we're going to need some patience. And while the Android Studio is being set up, let's use the time to install the Chrome browser. If you're going to use Flutter to develop for the web, you must have the Chrome browser installed. So let's open the web browser again. And now I'll head over to google.com forward slash Chrome. And let's download Chrome. And let's go ahead and install the Chrome browser. Great, and the Chrome browser was installed. Let's get back to the Android Studio setup. And the setup is finally done. Let's click on Finish. We now presented to the Android Studio welcome screen. Let's click on More Actions. And here we need to choose SDK Manager. On the left menu, make sure that Android SDK is chosen. Then choose the SDK Tools tab. Here we need to check Android SDK Command Line Tools. And OK. We need to confirm that the command line tools will be installed and we want that because they are necessary for Flutter development. So let's click on OK. And let's click on Finish. One more thing we want to do here is to make sure that we have an Android emulator installed. So once again, let's click on More Actions and let's open the Virtual Device Manager. And here we can see that we do have an Android emulator that was installed as part of the Android Studio installation. So we're all done. Let's close the Device Manager and let's close Android Studio as well. The next thing we need to do is download the Flutter SDK. So once again, let's open the web browser and let's head over to flutter.dev. Let's click on Get Started. And since I'm on Windows, I'm going to choose Windows. And let's click here where it says Get the Flutter SDK. And here is the Flutter SDK for Windows. 
It's been downloaded, but once again, I'm going to stop this download because I already downloaded it before. And let's get back to our downloads folder. And here's the Flutter SDK zip file. Let's ask Windows to show file extensions. And you can see that it's actually a zip file. So let's right click on it and extract all. It contains many files, so the extraction will take a while. Okay, so the contents were finally extracted from the zip archive, and now in this folder we have the Flutter SDK. Let's move it out of the downloads folder. And inside this folder, we only have the Flutter folder. In my opinion, there is not much point in the external directory, so let's move the Flutter folder, this folder, directly to the C drive. So now in the C drive, we have Flutter, and inside this folder, we have all of the SDK components. Among them, we have the bin folder. Now we want this folder, the bin folder, to be in the system's path. So let's open Windows environment variables. And I'll click where it says edit the system environment variables. And here it is, environment variables. And here is the path environment variable. This is the one we want to edit. So let's copy the path of the bin folder inside the Flutter SDK folder. And let's paste it as a new entry to our path. OK, this is done. Let's click on OK. The next step is to open the Windows terminal. And let's run Flutter Doctor, which will check our Flutter installation. A one-time initialization process is running. And you can see that two problems were identified. Let's start with this one that's marked with a red X. This problem is shown because if we want to use Flutter to develop for Windows, we need to install Visual Studio. If you intend to use Flutter for Windows development, go ahead and install Visual Studio. But since I'm not going to use Flutter for Windows development, I'm not going to install Visual Studio and I just ignore this red X. This one, on the other hand, the yellow exclamation mark, has to do with Android development. And the problem is that we have some Android licenses that were not accepted. Luckily, it's really easy to fix, and all we have to do is run this command, flutter doctor dash dash android licenses. So let's do just that. And we can see that we have five SDK licenses that we did not accept yet. So let's accept them now. I press on Y, and the licenses will be displayed one by one. So yes, 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 and yes. So we're done with that. Let's run Flutter Doctor once again. And we can see that the only problem we're left with is that we don't have Visual Studio, which will prevent us from developing for Windows. But as I said, I don't intend to develop for Windows, so it doesn't really bother me. Let's close the Windows terminal. And we now need an IDE. I'll go with Visual Studio Code. So let's download and install Visual Studio Code. Once again, let's open the web browser. And now we're going to head over to code.visualstudio.com. And let's download for Windows. The installer was downloaded. Let's install Visual Studio Code. Let's close the Get Started window. And now let's open the Extensions tab. And let's look for Flutter. The extension we want is the first one on the list, so let's click on it and click on Install. 
Great, the Flutter extension was installed. Let's get back to the Explorer tab. And now let's open the command palette by pressing on Ctrl Shift P. Here I'm going to look for Flutter. And the option we want is the first one, New Project. Okay, so for some reason Visual Studio Code couldn't find the Flutter SDK. Let's help it locate it. So we placed it right under the C drive. And let's choose the bin folder. And we want to create a Flutter application. We now need to choose a folder for a new Flutter application. I'll just create a new Flutter workspace folder. And let's name our new application. I'll just call it example application. And here's the code for a new Flutter application. Now, the default target for Flutter is Windows. But since we didn't install Visual Studio, the Windows target isn't available for us. So let's change it by clicking here where it says Windows. And we can run our application either on the web, using a web browser, or using an Android emulator. Let's start by testing it on a browser. So let's choose Chrome, for example. And let's run our application. And here we see the example Flutter application, and we can use it. Let's now try to run the application on an Android emulator. So let's tap this run. And let's change the target to Android. And the Android emulator is being started. Okay, the Android emulator started. Let's run our Flutter application on it. And you can see our Flutter application right on our Android emulator.